Hello everyone, my name is Ghost Wolf Alpha, back again with another stream tonight. How are you how are y'all doing tonight, chat? I hope you're all doing well. Um today is Sunday, April twenty eighth of twenty twenty four. And you know what that means? It's time to choose what game I want to play for tonight. And tonight is is Fallout Tale of Two Wastelands. Where we left le left off is we did a whole bunch of stuff. Um you know, basically more or less prep for, for um get so, get stuff like um forlorn hope and camp um just a camp forlorn hope and um bitter springs all squared away. And now we're going to be go heading off to the um, heading off to Zion Canyon. Um. Anyway, um. One second. Let me get the game. Okay. There we go. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, where are we... Let, let me also get the music going, too. There we go. As you can see, we're right now on on the outside here. We're just... Just gonna get the... Advertisement going here. Oh, hello. I forgot. <laughs> Happy Trails is organizing an expedition north into Utah, off the Long 15, and we need people. We're looking for caravan guards, prospectors, couriers. If you're used to humping it across the waste, straight toward trouble, we want you. If you got a pit boy, we definitely want you. On the other hand, if you're a greenhorn or a city slicker spinning tales about your skills, you can kindly go hang. <laughs> if we like your gumption, we'll pay you square and treat you fair. Hold on a second. Jed Masterson, at the oh, it's Tide, that one, interested, one guy. Howdy. My name is Jed Masterson, and I'm a caravan okay. boss for the Now, just to turn off that radio. Let's go to Zion. Howdy, friend. Heard my little broadcast, did you? Yeah, you look the type. Wait a minute, I recognize you. Yeah, you're Alice McLafferty's rising star, ain't you? You sure you want to be here? McLafferty's non-competes are pretty rigid. Uh, yeah, tell me more about the job. The job is simple. Help us get this caravan in design and find new Canaan. The pay is 25 caps per day. Half up front, half on return. You'll get a bonus if we make it in design. Plus another bonus if we reach new Canaan. Oh, uh, one more thing. Don't mention the name Joshua Graham to anyone. Anyone. Okay, uh, who is Joshua Graham? Why shouldn't I talk about him? Just don't. It makes the new Canaanites powerful uncomfortable, and it scares the britches off the tribals. Don't talk about the burn man either while you're at it. Trust me on this one. It's for your own good. Okay, um, tell me about the Happy Trails Caravan Company. We're a smaller company out of Sacktown, up in the northern part of the NCR. We run some business through New Reno. They're on the little loop. Had a nice run to Salt Lake City, too, but uh, then we lost contact with New Canaan, and that went all to hell. Ooh, sounds like Happy Trails is in the best financial shape. You ain't wrong. Losing the Salt Lake City run really stung us. If we can't reestablish contact with this run, we'll be in real trouble. Okay, why can't you get to Salt Lake City? Without New Canaan's mission in Zion, the only ways to Salt Lake City are down the old I-80, or up through Ogden. The highway is too risky. NCR's rangers are so busy here in the Mojave, they don't have the manpower to keep the raiders off. Ogden's just too far. We'd lose more in travel expenses than we'd ever earn. Okay, what can you tell me about New Canaan? Don't know much about the place, but I can tell you about the people. 
The new Canaanites were some kind of religious group from before the war. They control the old city of Ogden, a ways north of Zion, and they got themselves a nice defensible mission in the canyon itself. Or they did. They trade a fair bit with the tribes in Zion. Well, the ones that don't try to kill them anyways. Okay, um, do you know anything about the religion? I ain't a praying man myself. They paid for their goods and dealt square with us. That's all I ever cared about. But don't think that just because they're religious, that they're pacifists. They take care of their own. And they're damn fine marksmen, too. So what happened to their mission? Nope. Hence oh. this caravan. If we don't make contact with the new Canaanites, happy trails might as well just shrivel up and die. Okay, I got some other questions Dude. here. Um, what can you tell me about the area? Well, I ain't never been inside myself. Did some trading with the new Canaanites from their mission there. But that was all on the outskirts. All the old ways in and out were destroyed after the war. But we got ourselves the location of a pass the new Canaanites use. That's our way in. That's why I wanted someone with a pit boy on the caravan. The map will be helpful for checking the topography, keeping us on the trail. Okay, it's been a while since I came through Utah. What's the situation like there? Well, it ain't good, I'll tell you that. It's not like the Mojave or the NCR. Hell, even Arizona under Caesar is safer. You got raiders all over the damn place. Tribes of degenerates that'll eat you as soon as look at you. Regional warlords, the works. Not too many decent places to stop and trade. New Canaan's one of the only ones left I know about. Okay, tell me about the raiders. They're about what you'd expect. Crazy, jacked up on cams, violent as hell, and not too bright. The worst of the 80s. But we won't be passing through their turf on this run. Okay, um, degenerate tribes? That's right. The folks that lived in Zion before the war, they didn't just get a little savage. They're downright feral. Most of them don't even speak English anymore. You've got to get yourself a new Canaanite translator to talk to them. The ones you really gotta watch out for are the White Legs from the Great Salt Lake. They'll attack just about anyone that ain't one of theirs. Okay, and warlords, how dangerous are they? Dangerous enough we won't be going near them if we can help it. I got no desire for my head to decorate some little gas station for its walls, thanks. Okay, got some more Shoot. questions. Actually, I'll be back. I want to yeah. see who we got for... Reckon you will. ...for people in this... Okay. Nope, wrong button. Looking to join this caravan, huh? Look to me like you can handle yourself. Okay, so what are you doing here? Earning my keep. Jed hired me on as a caravan guard for this expedition of his. The work suits me. I've tried staying put in one place, but it never works out. Grew up in New Reno, and I couldn't put that snake pit behind me fast enough. Then I wound up wasting the prime of my life playing sheriff in Caliente. Little town north on the 93. Talk about a pain in the ass. You ask me, best to keep moving. At least the scenery changes. Okay, um, what was it like growing up, growing up in New Reno? Imagine New Vegas if there was no Mr. House type fella keeping the peace. Then give everybody a gun and a jet addiction. Towns run by a bunch of crime families. No law to speak of. Make trouble and you wind up buried in Golgotha outside town. The scuzz factor's off the charts. Non-stop whoring and drugs. Couldn't walk down the street without getting asked to star in a porn movie. So I got my ass out of there while I still owned it. Guess I figured the answer to every problem was rule of law. Naive, huh? Okay, tell me about Caliente. Place lived up to its name, that's for sure. When you got fresh water and a trickle of geothermic power, always be some gang of assholes wants to kill you for it. Spent more years and took more bullets than I care to admit protecting that hellhole from dangers within and without. If it wasn't the 80s or the White Legs raiding, it was someone from town drunk off his ass trying to win an argument with a shotgun. Got tired of shooting the folks I was supposed to protect. So, now I do this. Okay, um, were the 80s a gang or a tribe? 
What's the difference? Raiders is raiders. Bunch of them swept into town and dragged off two working girls. Deputies and me gave pursuit straight into 80s territory. By the time we caught up with the girls, there wasn't much left of them, so we turned for home. Made it back to Caliente without further losses, but we was watched the whole way. Never seen so few people cover so much land. Goddamn creepy. If the 80s had wanted to kill us, we would have been dead. Guess they figured we weren't worth the trouble. Okay, what do you know about the White Legs? Used to be they raided northeast of Caliente time to time. But then the Desert Rangers <coughs> first caught 10 Excuse years me? ago, absorbed into the NCR. Soon enough, the White Legs were swarming all over that stretch of I-15. Folks learned not to head north if they wanted to keep their scalps. Eventually, the White Legs destroyed the bridges across the Virgin River over in Arizona. End of discussion. Okay, I'll see you. Catch you another Dip time, it. then. Okay, just a guard, guard, and... He doesn't look great at all. <laughs> you looking for trouble, bud? I got plenty to spare. So watch your ass around me. Okay. Unwarded hostility. General agitation. How long have you been a psycho addict? Hey, hey, hey! Fuck you! I didn't say nothing about using psycho! <sighs> I see you're wearing a pit boy in a vault suit. Nice job, Eagle Eye. Of course I got a pit boy and a vault suit. Pit boy. So what? Okay, where did you get the vault suit from? Where the fuck you think? Vault 2-2. Two, two. That's where I grew up. You're lying. I've been to Vault 22. No one's lived there in 150 years. Oh, you've been to Vault 2-2, two, two, huh? I may have been exaggerating a little. Truth is, I got the suit and the pit boy off a dead prospector who came out from Zion. Guy was dead when I found him, okay? Had a ton of shit on him. That's how I know there's good loot in Zion, see? Okay, what do you use your pit boy for? Sorry. The shit I do with it is so far over your head, be wasting my time to put it in words you could understand. Basically, it makes me badass. More badass, I mean. It's totally mind-blowing shit. It ain't just some bracelet. Know what I mean? Jed says it's got masked shit like that. So that's how I'm gonna guide this caravan where it needs to go. Not that I didn't know all that already. Okay. Did you notice I'm wearing a pit boy too? Huh? Of course I noticed. First thing I noticed about you. Me? I'm so used to wearing mine, it's just normal. Don't think you're someone special just because you got one. <sighs> Is your pit boy broken your screen's locked up and the boot button is missing how's that even possible bullshit ain't nothing wrong with my pit boy i, I mean pit boy look this is a sweet gig for me don't go fucking it up what are you after anyways ah uh, we don't need this kind of person on our team what i want for you is to scram this expedition doesn't need you fine you win asshole Enjoy leading the expedition into a fucking ambush. Hope you all die. And there goes one crazed addict. Damn good thing you came along. Now that Ricky skedaddled yours is the only <laughs> pit boy we got. Okay, I'm ready to go to Zion. I bet you are. But you ain't going nowhere loaded down like a pack brahmin. Relax, I've humped this load across the Mojave on my own two feet long enough. I can handle it. Hmm. All right. I reckon you know your limits. You keel over on me out there, though, and I'll leave your ass. After we take everything useful you crammed in your pack. Okay, why, is, why the weight limit? You ain't never been to Zion, have you? We'll be passing through a whole mess of narrow slot canyons and high rough passes. A big pack will get you wedged in like a super mutant crawling through a storm drain. And too much weight will kill you in the thin air. Okay, give me one second. Let me... S 100 pounds or less. Let's see how much. 
We're just three, three over. Dang it. Well, there's one way to take care of it. There we go. 98. Hey, Yoza, how you doing? Are you here to join me a while? Okay, let, I'm all, all right. Let's go. I'm ready. Are you now? You know, we ain't coming back this way for a good long while now, right? And you know about the weight limit. I don't want no whining about old Mr. Masterson. I left my one-of-a-kind plasma cannon back at base. Can we go <laughs> That's because I ate a whole bunch of stuff that has radiation in it. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, all right then. Let's get moving. We got a long road ahead of us. Oh. Did not expect Bob from accounting there. <laughs> the paths we're following are slow going, so you might as well keep your ears open and listen to what old Jed has to say. <laughs> a few decades back, folks let me just NCR pause the music real quick. To hear about a community in northern Utah called New Canaan. Didn't know much about them, except that they were religious folks sent out missionaries to talk to the tribes. We've seen our you want to listen folks, to this. But the new Canaanites, they were honest traders. Good fighters, too. Raiders wouldn't tangle with them. But then, the Legion appeared in Arizona. I reckon you know all about them. Turns out Caesar's first war chief, the Malpace Legate, was a new Canaanite, Joshua Graham. Legend goes that Graham was the meanest, toughest son of a bitch in the whole damn Legion. The new Canaanites wouldn't talk about him. They were ashamed. Guess I can't blame them. Well, at Hoover Dam, the Malpace Legate finally met his match. Hanlon and Oliver kicked his new Canaanite butt right back over the river. Caesar had to make an example for the others, to show them that even at the highest level, failure wouldn't be tolerated. He had Graham covered in pitch, lit on fire, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. People say he didn't even scream on the way down. Not long after, some of the slaves and tribals started to talk. Said Graham wasn't dead. Shouldn't have been any surprise. All this talk bothered Caesar. So he forbade anyone from speaking his name. Wanted to erase Joshua Graham from history. He got his wish. Joshua Graham disappeared. And in his place came legends of the burned man walking the wastes. Probably just a tribal ghost story. But New Canaan's been silent for a long time. Maybe it's a coincidence. Maybe the Malpace Legate is dead. Or maybe Joshua Graham did crawl out of that canyon and finally found his way back home. Okay, let me get the music on again. One All second. right, people. Been a long couple of weeks, but here we are. Zion. I know your feet hurt. I know you're tired, but I need everyone's mind on the trail ahead. Ain't the trail ahead worries me, Jed. Those descents we made through that slot canyon back up okay, there. Okay, something's going Ain't on no here. Getting back out the way we come, and then what? God damn it, Stella heard you the first time, and the fifteenth too. The new Canaanites will know a way. And if they don't, we've got the maps on our friend's Pip-Boy over there. Enough lollygagging. Get moving. And keep an eye out for tribals. Sorry to bother you with reality, old Jed. Who cares if we can't get... Yeah, I'm wondering what the heck is going on. Oh, there we go. Shh. Hold on now. I swear I heard something up ahead. Uh oh. I think I God see something. Ambush! Cover <laughs> people! Watch yourselves!
Oh, great. I have to be very careful now. Ah, great. Jed's dead. I'll just... Yeah, I'll just go get the caps from everyone. Yeah, the game was just simply catching up. <laughs> Okay, better take care of the There. Legs don't leave survivors often. You came from outside, didn't you? From the civilized lands. Yeah. Wow. Joshua will want to hear about this. Oh, uh, who is this Joshua? Joshua Graham. He leads our tribe. Thanks to him, <sighs> the dead horses are strong Ugh. and safe from our enemies. I hate we'll allergies. To to anyone coming up from Everything feels way. stuffed right Guess this second. That means just you now. Come, One second. I can take you to him. Yeah, I'm gonna blow my nose real quick. And I'm back. Okay, fu okay, let's go then. Good sists. We head east then. Joshua is at our tribe's camp in the Eastern Virgin. Okay, send it through my DMs then, Yoza. Okay, let's hold up. See that log over there? Take a closer look. There might be some good stuff tucked in there. Nope, nothing. Okay, I need, need to double check one thing. Okay, yeah, it is. It is that playlist. We follow this path for a while. Nice view of the river. Yeah. Freeze. Don't move. <laughs> well, took care of that, Yagwai. Now, where's the ash pile? Oh, it's over there. There we go. Now. We're gonna have to work our way towards... Towards the dead horse's camp. Oh, 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 no, 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 Ow. Oops. Do I have to go through that ambush again? Please say no. Oh, good.
handrails, Yoza. Um, let me put it to you this way. Well, uh, let me get you a good view from right here. Nature has no frickin' handrails! Uh, we followed this yeah. for a while. Nice view of the river. Yeah. Like the shadow of a ghost. And it ran off. Whew. That was some kind of lucky. Guess that one was all full of gecko, eh? <laughs> Don't get used to it, though. Yaogwai are plenty mean as a rule. You can take the path north here if you want. Or head east over the ridge. There's a nice view from the top of that cliff, if you want to look. Nope, not gonna do that again. <laughs> Follow the old road south. Nearly there. Okay, it's getting a little choppy. Give me one second. Need to double check one thing real quick. Oh, no wonder. I don't have my... My, um, thing up for... That, that more or less keeps everything all taken care of. For my games. Nope, not working right this second, it seems. You see the dead sentries? Shamans say our enemy's souls are trapped in them. But Joshua says it shows we're serious about fighting white legs. Nah, no, I don't want that egg. Take the meat. Okay, anything interesting in you? Nope. See those handprints? Dead horses and sorrows marked. <coughs> Excuse me. Places from back when. Good thing for you, I don't buy into that stuff. Nothing in the first aid kit. Okay, what's this? Fifty-seven and twenty gauge. Okay, I'm gonna check over this way real quick. I'm happy to travel with you, but you're not headed toward the dead horses anymore. Yeah, I know, I'm heading towards a dead end. Still wanna see what's over here. Oh, it's a car. And a, a depleted fusion core. I'll take that. Also, I'm going to get some sac sacred uh, uh, However, it's pronounced right this second. Um, because I'm going to be needing that. Because maybe this stream, maybe the next stream, I'm going to be taking drugs and trying to kill a bear. <laughs> oh, definitely.
down Actually, this I path should... to the north. Hope you don't mind getting wet. No, as long as there's no bear traps or whatnot. Yeah, we're gonna be also searching for the These survivalists too. The dead horses victories um, but that will be Lots more um I, off stream. I'll be unlocking all the pl as discovering all the places, and then um, I'll be doing the stuff in order. Well, um, next time we play Fallout Tale Two Wastelands, because this is gonna be a two-parter, I believe. Maybe three. Oh, barrel cactus root. Nice. Let's see what we got here in the camp here. Broken pottery. Broken pottery. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a bit of FPSs. Uh, FPS some. Um, Jitteriness. I'm trying to. I'm going to have to figure out what's causing it again. Because I shouldn't have anything that should. Wait, Can one second. I. Come on. Nope. Um. It's not you. You out and oh, no wonder the priority of this is on normal instead of instead of high as I usually have it. Now, watch out for traps in the water. Got oh, to keep the white nope. legs out somehow. Huh? Yeah, oh, hello. That, that was close. Should have warned me. Should have warned me about the bear traps. Oh, another bear trap. Uh oh. Don't do this to me, game. <laughs> Another one down. Actually, we're going to be um this episode. Um, we're going to discover as much, many places as we can, while at the same time take care of the quest for um take care of the quest that we can here. And off stream, I'll continue wandering around, unlocking all the other places. Then I'll get a list of where the basically how to get it all in are. order for the survivalist Joshua journals. There in the angel cave. And two bears high fiving. <laughs> Oi, Auslander Zuka Joshua Graham. Um, am I looking for Joshua? Yes, I am. Can you tell me where he is? You know our tongue. Smart, Auslander. Joshua in high place of Cade. You show respect, Utman. Joshua is greatest warrior. You show him no respect. He show you thunder and fire. I'll be sure, make sure to be on my best behavior then. You wise for Auslander.
We should have given you a better welcome on your first visit to Zion. But from what I hear, the White Legs beat us to it. White Legs seem to be the only visitors we have these days. And I wouldn't have expected anyone from the Mojave to come looking for us. Hold on, that was my and phone. A courier, no less. Not the one I was expecting, but I suppose he uh, should have gone him. off. I don't thought know I said for do not disturb. The of your group. Uh, but you have my sympathy. I pray for the safety of all good people who come to Zion, even Gentiles. I absolutely hate spam. Anyway, sorry about that, folks. Um, um, I came here with the Happy Trails caravan to make contact with the new Canaanites. Happy Trails. I remember. They were good friends. I have bad news for your employers. New Canaan was destroyed, its citizens scattered. All because of the White Legs. And Caesar, of course. The White Legs want to join the Legion. Caesar's rite of passage is the destruction of the New Canaanites, almost assuredly because of me. The good news is that we can help you find your way back. Daniel, one of the other New Canaanites, has made many maps of the region. The bad news is that we can't help you right now, not with everything that's going on. Okay, I'm not going to leave without offering to help. What can I do? You're a good neighbor to us. We all go through periods of darkness. In such times, we can turn to the Lord. But it's good to have friends. Daniel and I need pre-war tools to help us navigate beyond Zion. Should we need to evacuate, these instruments will be vital to us. Normally, we would have some of the dead horses or sorrows look for them. But many pre-war buildings in the valley are taboo. They won't go inside. Okay, um, taboo? The Sorrows believe in a spirit that lives in the caves. Say the spirit punished them once for trespassing. They put special marks around the cave entrances to keep people out. It doesn't work on the White Legs, of course. But the dead horses are spooked. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Follow Chalk can help you find your way around the valley. He's inexperienced. But he knows enough of our language to ignore the taboos about pre-war buildings. Okay, let's talk to you real quick. What can I tell you? Okay, um, you tell me a little bit more about this area. Any, any interesting wildlife? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately, whew. My guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon, they might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Okay, maybe I can help with that. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off, and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. Okay, what do you suggest I do instead? Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These bighorners go crazy for the stuff. Alright, I'll look into it. That's great. I'll help any way I can. Okay, um... But we're done talking. What can I tell you? Um... Any idea where to start looking for these pre-war supplies? Best place to look for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there. And even white legs don't like them much. Okay, um, what taboo places? Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Not that I believe in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? Okay, where should, where should we start looking? Lots of back when places to choose from. But for the things we need, best to start with the really closed up places. 
three I know of. A building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the northwest, and the general store right by it. Closer to home might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell. Just west of the Eastern Virgin. Uh, what's this place where the little ones fell? In the river, there's a twisted pile of metal and glass, all full of bones. Joshua says they were scouts, but they looked awful small to me. Lots of that old stuff, uh, how do you say it, uh, electronics. Maybe you could use some of it. Okay, don't ha I don't have any more questions. Let's talk about something else. Ask away. Okay, um, tell me more about Joshua Graham. He's been the chief of our tribe since he came back to the valley. He went off to the civilized world years ago to fight a war. That didn't go well. Okay, the only recent war around here is when Caesar's Legion attacked Hoover Dam. Is that where he fought? I don't know. He doesn't talk about it much. Maybe. But how can two civilized tribes fight over something as small as a dam? Um... Small? Have you seen Hoover Dam? It's bigger than some of these mountains. <laughs> really? That's... My gods. Must be some mighty civilized folks who built that. You'd be surprised what civilized tribes will fight over. <laughs> now, you sound like Joshua. He always tells me that tribal life is better. That I should stay here and forget the outside world. Okay, well... Ask... Um, who are those tribals that attack me, anyway? White legs. Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. Ugh, where do they come from? That's the weird part. Normally, the White Legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know what. I agree, Yoza. Far south. Okay, and want to know more about you? What can I tell you? Oh, my call follows chalk. Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. Okay, what's with the tattoos? Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. Okay, um, tell me more about your tribe, the Dead Horses. We came up in the land of the Dead Horse, though why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided, we fought, we lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. Oh, wait. Um, what about Kaisar? When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then, he lost his master's army to a tribe called Ensiar, the Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him. Burned, broken, but changed. He led us away from Kaisar, led us to our own destiny in Zion. Okay, what did Joshua do for you? If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our territory, to protect ourselves. He guided us away from Kaisar, and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us. Okay, what do you know about the new Canaanites? Little bit. I met some of their missionaries a few times, but I've never been to their city. Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. Okay, what's with the shell cases in your club? We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe, so now they are ours. Can't say they seem that dangerous to me, but Joshua says they won the West. Okay, do you remember anything about Joshua um, before he became your leader? Only a little. 
I was very young. He was different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler, more driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. Okay, why is it so important that we fight the White Lakes, even though I know that it is important? Well, because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts, they poach our hunting grounds. Okay, let's continue. Oh, I could also trade stuff with, with Joshua here. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Um, did, um, anyway, you said something about, earlier about a courier. Who are you expecting? Caesar would never admit this openly, but he knows that I'm alive. I've killed enough of his frumentari and assassins that have come looking. I've heard one of them travels the Mojave as a courier. Most of Caesar's agents meet a fitting end in NCR territory, but maybe this one survived. Um, okay, anyway, um, um, Caesar, um, Caesar's dead. I saw to it personally. In fact, I, um, but, in fact, I think I hit him with a tire iron. Um, I, um, I thought I should let you know. I have to admit, it's hard to believe that even after all he did to me, all he tried to do to find and erase me from this world, he went first. No doubt this will be good for the Mojave. I can only hope Arizona and the tribes don't suffer as the Legion falls apart around them. Ah, uh, they won't. I will make sure the Legion has very little to go home with. Hmm. Good. You're doing God's work, whether you believe it or not. Anyway, um, pray God, gentles, Gentiles, are you Jewish? I am a new Canaanite. We believe we are the heirs of a spiritual tradition given to our ancestors thousands of years ago. We have made and kept covenants with our Lord God to honor his laws. In exchange, we are promised eternal salvation after this life. A day will come when our Lord returns to judge us all. Until then, we must honor his laws and start others along the path of salvation if we can. That's why we trade with others and work the tribes. We have more than food and medicine to offer. Good news is our most valuable commodity. Okay. Well, sounds like a good deal. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that, in the end, there is light in the darkness. Every day we move closer to our judgment. We must do our best to walk in the footsteps of our Lord and teach others how to do the same. For many of us, the road is a difficult one, but the path is always there for us to follow, no matter how many times we may fall. Do you ever fall? Every day. Some days are harder than others. Anyway, um, nice guns! <laughs> In the Great Basin and Colorado Plateau, all tribes are known for a specific weapon. White legs are known for their big submachine guns, storm drums. They broke into an armory near Spanish Fork and have been using them for years. Of course, the dead horses have their wooden war clubs, and even the sorrows have their Yao Guai gauntlets. This type of 45 automatic pistol was designed by one of my tribe almost 400 years ago. Learning its use is a new Canaanite rite of passage. Okay, um, do you run the show around here? I wouldn't say that. I am the acting war chief for the Dead Horses. They look up to me for such matters, but I only have the authority they give me. Daniel is the spiritual leader and main link of the new Canaanites to the Sorrows. He's up in the Narrows right now. Okay, what's going on with all these tribes? A great deal. There are three... Make that four tribes here in Zion. You've already met the White Legs on the way in. In this camp, you'll find dead horses. In the Narrows, the Sorrows. 
And finally, there's Daniel and myself. We are new Canaanites. Okay, why did the White Lakes attack my caravan? They attack everyone who isn't a White Lake, especially caravans. They don't know how to survive on their own, so they have to raid. But as for why they are here, they are trying to wipe us out. All of us. They want to join Caesar's legion, and they can only prove their worth by destroying the new Canaanites and everyone we shelter. Okay, do they speak our language? Most don't. It's been hundreds of years since the war. They've developed their own languages. Take the dead horse. Okay, who keeps... refugees from a place called... <sighs> East of the Grand Canyon. I freaking hate spam. They a combination of res and a language spoken by travelers who were visiting res when the bombs fell. Over time, the two languages blended. I was a translator years ago, but it's hard to keep up with all of the tribal variations. Okay, um, does the valley belong to the dead horses? The valley belongs to God, but no. The dead horses live at Dead Horse Point, up the Colorado River. They came here because I asked them to. Before I returned to the fold, I visited them years earlier. I looked much different then, but I left an impression on them. I taught them how to hunt more efficiently, how to maintain their weapons and pre-war equipment. When I returned, they showed their appreciation. Okay, um, I haven't I seen any sorrows in the valley yet. The sorrows have many skilled hunters among them but no warriors. They have not had to deal with war or raiders for decades. Even though they can hunt a full-grown Yaogwai, they don't know how to deal with the White Legs. That's why we're here. Okay, um... Let's talk about something else. Um, do you have anything to trade? We do. Though the White Legs destroyed New Canaan, they didn't destroy all of our supply caches. All forms of currency are recognized here. Caps, NCR dollars, even Legion coin. Take a look. Okay, let's see what you got here. Um... Here you have a 45 pistol, plenty of ammo for it. We'll take a war club, though. Ooh. A whole bunch of fusion cores. <laughs> Um, are they really there? Take the casings that honors for it, for the war club, that is. Or you have everything for the, for that. I'm going to get the submachine gun, though. I'll take all that. There. Anyway, I'll talk to you. Actually, I got some personal questions for you. Right now, I'd like you to focus on helping Daniel. Maybe there will be time later. <laughs> Work club, primitive man's tire iron. <laughs> sure, why not? Let me have a look. My tribe may take too much. Okay, fix this stuff up. Okay, first off, what we're going to do is take care of those big horners because because we're because it's nearby. Then we're going to go take care of the other stuff. Okay. You wait here. Sure. Okay. Because I don't want anyone else besides besides I don't want anyone else up there 
besides me going after the the big the big corner. Anyway, how, how anyway, how's how's Chad doing tonight and doing so far? Hope you're all doing well. Okay. Oh, there's some banana yucca. Come on. Well, that's good, Yoza. Oh, and the reason why I'm sneaking is these are right now marked as enemies. Oh, uh, yeah, allergies are hitting me a little bit. But today was a nice, cool day, but not. Usually it was a warm day, but yet, but yeah, it was a little bit cool, if you understand what I'm saying. And there's that big corner calf. Come on, little guy. Let's get going. Come on. Okay, better start sneaking. So, uh, so, sorry about for, uh, about the ads. Come on, come on, baby. Whoa, railing. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, come on, you. Come on, here's one more. Come on. Come on. Go, return to Mama.
Yeah, I better get out of here. Oh, bad I need to go that way. Okay, let's get back to follow falls chalk here. Okay. What can I tell you? I've returned the calf to its mother. And I didn't even kill a si any of the big corners. Whew. Welcome back, Glad Yoza. That'll be some happy mama, huh? Thank you. Really, it means a lot to me. Okay, let's get going. Go with four. Okay, I'm not going to take any of those big corners, though it would help a lot. Right now we're just going to discover the caves and all that fun stuff. One place, um, okay, that's all, all the way over there. Let's go, um, let's go right there and then go north around. One second, I'll show you on the map here. We're gonna, instead of going right here and somehow dropping down there, we're gonna have to go, um, gonna go the long way around here. And I'll, actually first we're gonna, actually we are gonna just simply drop down there, um, but first we're gonna go to that ranger substation. Oh, hello there. Okay, we got ourselves the first one. Now, where is this? Where's that place again? Oh, down there. I think we can make our way that way. Yeah, this is yeah, we can head this way. Oh, a whole bunch of scouts. Great. <laughs> okay, compass. 
Okay, this compass is broken, but can be um, possibly be restored to full f to a fully functional state. Let's repair the compass. Take the lunch boxes. Gonna put all the points into unarmed. Actually, not all the points into unarmed. There. Choose, choose later. And better turn on the night vision. Nope, no too early. Just the right amount of twilight where it's too bright to put turn on the turn on the um, the night vision, but yet too dark to see. Oh, hello. How about now? Perfect. Um. to discover it. Now. Oh, hello! Um... Ow. Okay. I am glad I found... Found the stuff door to keep my legs alright. Yes, I want that katana. Complete with authentic blade. Just want to want to see what mods, what other mods besides that it can be installed. I uh, need a balanced grip and protective sheath. Oh well. Until then, I'm keeping it. Now... Set my marker for there since it's very close. Where is it? Why it didn't trigger? Oh well. Next stop. We're gonna be going. We're gonna go in basically like this. Go to the bridge, the cave, the burial mounds, the windwall docks, and then the fishing lodge.
Because I had a bad feeling and also get some meat. Ah, the deal. The rest was because they were going to attack sooner or later. Actually, correction. First, go into the Pine Creek Tunnel. <coughs> and excuse me. Hmm. Oh shit! Oop, wrong, wrong thing. Oh. Okay, give me the... Give me the submachine... The... The Thompson here. Hello! There. Taken care of and better use some stim packs. Now, luckily this the path is clear. Just get to the tunnel. And there we go. One tunnel discovered. And just to make things easier, back to the bridge. Okay, discovered the Yaogwai Caves. Oh, that was close. Oh, I think I left Falls Chalk back at the at the dead horse's camp. Oh, I'll get him in a minute. Oh, crud. Of course it had to decide to save me there.
You know, especially when you're not expecting them. Well, I told you I was going to find this place. <laughs> okay. Back to the ca back to their camp, the dead horses camp to get Okay, foul chalk. Follow me. Sorry I forgot right about you. you. Back to the burial mounds. And back to... Of course, rain. <laughs> Okay, it seems we're gonna have to go th go up the round that way, so we'll get also the clear water docks as well while we're at it. That's that then. There got those docks. Water. There we go. Okay, that's not helpful, so... Let's go use... Let's use the sniper rifle here. And he disappeared in the brush. Got him! You're not going anywhere, buddy. That then. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay, because we don't know what's going to be in there. I'm thinking shotgun. The Winchester City Killer here. For as long as I remember, the dead horses have thought that places of the old world were taboo. Doesn't look so spooky to me. No, it just has no power. Literally, literally no power. Or at least that much, anyway. There. 
Got the walkie-talkies. Let's plan our next route here. Okay. I'm gonna go... Um... Okay, this is the plan here. We're, instead of going this way right this second, I'm gonna go through here, actually start here, cross the bridge, jump off, um, go to the Two Skies ca um, cave there, um, hit there to trigger that, pass that way, get to the bridge, and just basically go this way. in order to get to there. Oh, forgot. Inside of a building. Actually, before we do go, let's travel to there since I know there's a campfire there. going to sleep. Come on. Sleep for three hours. That's better. Of course, rain. And to the ant barrel. Okay, we discovered the bridge, and now we take a little dive. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Actually, no, we're taking a little swim. A chance, did they? Yeah, sorry I couldn't help you there, um, ch follows Chalk, but but I couldn't really see that well. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't native <sighs> to Zion. Wonder where they came from. Spitter plants and green monster men. That sounds like stuff from Vault 22. The pitcher ate those plants and. Oh, one second. <gasps> Ow. Come on, out of the boat. I said, out of the boat. Okay. Yeah, this way. Sounds like spore plants and and infected um the spore people from Vault 22. So yeah, that's not good.
a chance, did they? Okay, take it. Yes, got him in the head. Good. Okay. Or why that didn't get didn't get um. Okay, I have to be like a mountain to go to try to get up there. There we go. Another place found. Now, let's see. Count Fork Overlook. Okay, I need to test something. Okay, grass... Disabling the grass helped. That <laughs> stopped that one at dead into the tracks. Skinnik Overlook. What do you suppose that means? Now, next stop. Patriarch's Campground. Fighting time. Hide. Actually, no, take the meat also. Okay. Morning Glory Cave should be up there. Okay, that headshot was unintentional. Okay, got Here the cave. Go. Now that headshot was a touch. Okay, let's see how we're doing here. Okay, North Fort. That bridge is discovered. Next up, General Store and the Z Ranger Station, which is what we need for the for the other stuff. Way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan. And nailed their corpses. And because I have no clue what's going to be in there, and I bet it's going to be something with close quarters, let's break out the shotgun again. To the cliffs. Pretty odd buck she'll do. They just stood a chance, did they? 
Gotcha! Never stood a chance, did they? Okay, come on, lunchbox. You out of the way. Lunchbox. Okay, force lock. Okay, anything up there? No. Wonder why the lunch boxes, I'll never know. And there should be a snow globe. Oh, it's over there, if I remember correctly. There we go. Okay, next... Next up. Stay Hello! That's slug, that's pulse slug, that's explosive. Let's just go with standard 12 gauge. Oh, hey, the mod vending machine, the um, weapon mod vending machine. But, anyway, standard procedure. Whoa! Never stood a chance, did they? Well, that's nothing there, and oh, it's contaminated. Um, this medical supply kit is mostly intact, but several of the sterile bandages have been broken open, and the disinfected bottle is leaking. You could try to salvage what's there, you could try to find replacements for the contaminated components. Alternatively, you can use alcohol to re-sterilize the bandages. Okay, um... Let's... Um... Replace the contaminated components. And... Okay, by finding replacements for the... Contaminated components of the kid you could get up to working order much easily. Requires a duct tape and turpentine. Um, actually, no, let's go with sterilize the kid with alcohol. I'll leave it alone. Let's see. Do I have any. No, I don't. But there's something else here. No, there's no duct tape there, but there's vodka. And let's sterilize the kid with alcohol. There we go, nice and better. Anyway, you keep talking about civilization, Chuck, I notice. What Better can I talk tell to you about that. Anyway, what's with the obsession with you seem to have with civilization? Let me tell you a story. When I was a boy, a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. What is that? I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people, who gave him food and shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. Oh, did you... what does Joshua think of this? I, um... I haven't told him yet. Never had the growins. Really, maybe I could talk... Talk to him about it for you, you know, be a neutral party. You'd do that? 
Sure. Sounds smart to me. He might not get so mad at you. Okay. Oh. Okay, let's well, go with Fort. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yep, still works. Anyway, let's get back to the dead horse's camp real quick. Yeah, he's right there, and why can't I? Oh. Wait, <laughs> that back when medicine smells funny. Yeah, that's because I covered it in alcohol. I guess it works, though. Okay, let's go inside. Talk to talk to Joshua here. Actually, you should stay here for right sure. a second. Okay, gotta talk to you about something real quick. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Um, Ball's Chalk seems like he's interested in seeing more of the world. I thought he might. It's been some time since I visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? Okay. Whatever you tell him, I'm sure it will be fine. It's still his choice to make. I just want him to make it without looking to me for approval. He's a man. He can make his own decisions. Okay. Uh, thank you. God be with you. I think I should stay with its tribe. Actually... Between the two endings of his, I prefer him to stay with his tribe. Out of going out into the wilderness, going out to find civilization and never coming back. What can I tell you? Okay, I talked to Joshua about your thoughts on civilization. Yeah? What did he say? He's he said he had a hard time about being objective about the whole idea and that I should give you advice. He said that? Well, I guess you have been out there more recently than he has. So, what's your advice? Uh, you should stay here with your peop with your people. You have a duty to them. I see. Well, thanks for your telling. I'd like a minute alone to think about this. Thank me. No problem, but I have to do this while on the run. What can I tell you? Okay, let's get going. I just want to put a sick time because nice. <laughs> Make that two nice numbers. Oh, I can't keep it that keep it that way. Oh well. Uh Choose later. Okay. Sure. Okay. Right? There we go. Have him follow me. And before we drop off all the supplies at the at the Sorrows camp, we're gonna do some more exploring. Okay, let me just run and see what we got here. Okay, we take. 
go back here, go, go, go back to the, near the southern passage, we'll, we could take this route, go right this way in order to get to the spine. One second. Something's going on. Okay. Sorry, I noticed something off the side of my screen there. We're having a bit of technical issues due to the whole... Stream somehow being unstable again. Why it why it always says it's unstable? I have no idea. Slug, not the explosive. Magnum. 40 odd buck. There we go. <laughs> Perfect timing. Okay, just want to see my map real quick. Okay, we're on the right path. And yeah, quite meat. Fighting. Well, that's that. Th that compass thing always knows where north is, huh? Even if we can't see the stars. Okay, some more yeah, quite meat. Gonna take a take a bit of a risk here. Go to the, right there, just so I can get the map marker. Then head back out to the Red Rapid docks. Okay, you have to be very careful on the way down. There we go. Uh, that'll do. Should discover these docks first. Well, in case you're wondering why I'm deciding to discover all locations, sorry about that. I need to. Need to scratch them so my hand got in front of the microphone. Um, need to discover the discover play all the places. Well, it's because of, because of the whole um how tapes for for the you know the survivalist logs and two why not. Okay, better back off here.
and back to the docks. Okay, now. <coughs> One second, let me have a sip of drink. <clears throat> okay. Okay, I'm not discovering this bit because That'll be the ending point, if I remember correctly, for for where the survivalist is right there. But we're gonna go discover the other places. Those um, what did you call them? Uh, walkie talkies. Those are going to be loads better than signal drums and smoke. Okay, I'm going to rig out the 45. Okay. Oh, can't go up that way, can't go that way either, so I have to go around that way. There we go. Oh, just an ant. Never stood a chance, did they? Now. Okay. Next. Now, before we continue, let's go. Okay, I'm trying to think of the next place. Um, let's go to the North Fork. Fork, fork campground and then figure out how to get up to the airy. Oh, there's an enemy. There are enemies nearby. Dang it. Uh-oh. Come on. There we go. Now. Wait, wrong direction. Take that spear off you. Okay, got that spot. And now to tackle the airy.
Sola. Eat blood. Remember, 45 ACP usually. Remember, 9mm may kill the body, but 45 ACP kills the soul. Okay. I think I found a way up. Or at least somewhat up. Uh. Those, um, what did you call them? Uh, Waki Takis? Those are going to be loads better than signal drums and smoke signs. I am, I. I have a feeling I'm about to go to the. Oh, okay. Let's jump up here. Oh, I need bigger guns. Um, let's. I forgot the Gauss rifle. Okay, because I forgot to warn you last time, ads are incoming five in five in three in three minutes forty seconds. Here we go. See that tower? Back when folks used them to talk to each other on the And there we go, the airy. Uh, I must say, we're making good timing in discovering everything. I think by the time we... By the time... By about... Two minutes, thirty... Usually two, two minutes, so about... Two hours, three minutes um, into the stream, we'll end up in the, we'll end up here because I'm gonna leave those two for when um, when I do the take drugs kill a bear quest, and of course this will be the last bit of discovering stuff. Now, first... Just go set the marker. Just to help us out. I got a feeling we're gonna have to use the hunting... The, not the hunting, the fishing lodge to get up to the... Sun Sentinels. Oh. Okay, this does seem to be the right way. Uh, that uh, that right there is the perfect derpy look for that green young ge see that green gecko.
Oh, crud, I'm poisoned. Um, stim packs, antivenom. Ah, come on. Not yet. And and the venom. I'm glad I kept those on me. There we go, Sun Sentinels. As they're starting soon, so I'll see you in a little bit. Gonna continue walking, by the way. So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Okay, let's get this. I missed. Come on. Dang it, I can't get... Come on! There we go. Do the chance, did they? There we go. Okay, um, there we go, another spot discovered. Can't go that way. Oh, it was not one thing. Come on. Really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Uh, yeah, there is. It's called. It's called. Um, it's 
called blackjack. Or poker, depending on what game it is. Okay. Head up. Ooh, that's a lot of meat. Got him. Oh, crud. Hi there, Yogi. And there goes Yogi. <laughs> um, Fighting time. thought so. And there's Boo Boo. <laughs> no, you're not taking one of our picnic baskets. Okay, we got ourselves the. Got ourselves this place, and. Is that really it? Wow. Didn't realize that we got that much done that fast. Well then. To the Caterpillar Mound, and then into the Sorrows Camp area. Then once we get to, get into the camp, we're gonna do a little bit more exploring before we start doing other quests. Usually before we turn into the deliverer of sw sorrows and all that fun stuff. One second. Come on. Yeah, I agree. It does seem it does seem it does seem big, but yet it, comparatively it is small because the reason why it seems like it's big is because of verticality, because of all these cliff faces and all that fun stuff. Depends on which side of the country you're on. Um. Okay, I thought I saw a rat of scorpion of some sort. Okay, no bear traps. So far, so good. A log, nothing in it. Okay, need to rest. 
You are the one Joshua Graham sent to us. Blessings of the Father in the cave on you. Daniel is waiting for you. Okay, um... I like the bear glove. Where can I get one? A sorrow's Yaogwai fist is a sacred symbol. It shows that we belong to the tribe and have willingly undertaken a dangerous quest to aid the tribe. Each sorrow makes his own. And only after hunting and slaying a Yao Gwai that threatened our people, our shaman, White Bird, oversees the rites. Perhaps if you spoke to him, he would allow you to undertake such a quest. Okay, um... Give me more info on this Daniel. Who is he? Daniel is a wise man and a great friend to the Sorrows. He taught me to speak the language of New Canaan, the English, from the Holy Books. Holy Book? Yes. The language of the New Canaanites is the Holy Tongue, for it is the language their sacred books are written in. The Father in the Caves brought it to them after the Judgment, but the ancestors of the Sorrows sinned against him. They were denied the true tongue. Have you known him long? Six years. He attended the birth of my third child. It was a hard birth. The river nearly carried my water to the father, and my child's with it. Daniel knew the ways of New Canaan's medicine. He stepped in and saved both of our lives. After the birth, I asked Daniel if he would teach me what he knew of childbirth. He agreed, and so here I am. Okay, let's talk about something else. What would you speak of? Um... Who or what is the father in the cave? Have you not heard of the god of the new Canaanites? He is our protector and our judge. He helped our ancestors find their place here in Zion. He gave us many gifts, but we are not to seek him out. His caves are forbidden to us. Those who seek them out are taken from us. Okay, that doesn't seem like what I've been hearing, though. Perhaps you do not fully understand the new Canaanites. I have seen the Father's images. His holy bride and holy son were given unto the world to save it. They dwelt in the caverns of the mountains, caverns which can still be seen today. The people sinned against him and were punished with the end that came in fire and the loss of the holy tongue. Only the new Canaanites were spared. Okay, I see. That's fascinating. I'm sure Daniel. There could seems tell to be more. confusion. His knowledge of the Father is greater than my own. Okay, tell me more about your tribe. We have dwelt in the Narrows since the end that came in fire. When the Father in the caves punished the world and made us forget the Holy Tongue. We have had good relations with the other tribes in the valley. At least before Salt Upon Wounds brought his white legs here. We have Daniel to thank for our continued existence. His advice and help has kept the white legs from overrunning us so far. I do not know how long even he can protect us, though. Okay, tell me more. What do, actually, what do you know about Salt Upon Wounds? He is war chief of the white legs and the worst butcher of them all. The tribes he has crushed are many. The warriors he has slain, countless. Okay, that's all I want to know for now. Then I will look forward to our next speaking. Okay, let's... Sleep for right now. There we go. Now, where is, where's Daniel, anyway? That it looks like Daniel. Are you Daniel? Yep. The dead horses told me details about the attack on the caravan. 
A stranger's sympathy might not count for much, but for what it's worth, I'm sorry. The Sorrows will mourn your friends, too. They mourn everyone, even the White Legs. They have sensitive souls. Innocent, if there is such a thing. In spite of what's happened, I hope that Joshua and I can help you out of here. But to be frank, we need your help, too. Okay, Joshua told me he needed a few things. I think this is everything. Well, I'll be. I was starting to lose hope we'd be able to get any of this, much less all of it. Tribals are smart, but, well, they're ignorant. Letting go of a taboo is difficult for them, so I knew it would have to be one of us. Turns out all it took was a Gentile, or, uh, no offense. These supplies are a godsend. But if we're going to evacuate Zion without drawing more white leg attention, I need you to go back into the valley. Specifically, I need you to scout out some locations for white legs and try to remember a map of the grand staircases. A wilderness area. There's also a matter of the road crossings. We're going to be heading out of the east side of the park, but I'm not sure the way is clear. Okay, anything I could do to help? I'll do. I appreciate the enthusiasm. There aren't a lot of people in the wasteland with kindness to spare for anyone who isn't kin. Since you've been poking around the valley, you might see more activity from the white legs. One of the Sorrow's hunters, Waking Cloud, has volunteered to help guide you through the valley. She has a special talent for staying out of sight. After this, it's just a matter of getting everyone out of here safe and sound. And hopefully, you can head back to the Mojave without any more trouble. Okay. Okay, Daniel's given us a pre-war mining explosive and a special detonator for them. They aren't as useful as weapons, but could be used to collapse certain caves if it proves necessary in your exploration. Well, here we part ways. I'm needed back at the Dead Horses camp. Maybe I'll see you there sometime. Okay then, give my regards to Josh. Actually, no. Are you sure? You've been a useful companion so far. Sorry. Joshua was pretty clear. Get you to Daniel, then come on home. You can take it up with him if you'd like. In that case, give my regards to Joshua then. I will. Good going, Akis. Okay, I need to clear up the stuff here. Quest list. Okay, um, first off, we'll, you no, know, get rid of, get rid of that, right of passage, we'll take care of that first, oh yeah, I'm need to talk to you. Still with us. How can I help you? Um, anyway, what do you, um, first off, why do you need a map of st st Grand Staircase? Grand Staircase is farther east deeper into the Colorado Plateau. The White Legs were able to reach us here, but it's only because Zion is close to the Long 15. They can't pursue us east of here. It's too wild. Throughout our history, we have called many places Zion. This valley is full of God's beauty, but it's just a place. Zion is more than this. We cannot use any and all means available just to protect stone and water and a piece of sky. We have to hold on to our faith. Far more endurable. If we sacrifice grace for a piece of land, we may live in this valley, but we will no longer dwell in Zion. It's better for us to leave now. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I any of the endings of Daniel's, I, I'm, he's never happy. Anyway, um, what do you do here? I used to help the Sorrows with various medical problems and general issues they were having but my bishop sent me here as a missionary. We new Canaanites believe that there is a path to salvation for everyone, and it's important that we set people on that path if they are willing. You said you used to help Sorrows with problems? What do you do now? I'm trying to make amends for allowing our problem to become their problem. The new Canaanites, I mean. The White Legs have always fought with us. And with Joshua returning, Caesar has motivated the White Legs to stamp out the new Canaanites entirely. That means the tribes we work with, too. It's already happened. I just want to prevent something terrible from happening to the Sorrows. Okay, has this happened before? The White Lakes attacking other tribes? Yes. But not just White Lakes. 
Raiders, too. Prospectors, slavers, anyone who thinks they can exploit the ignorant and innocent. We lost the tar walkers and the crazy horns. We did our best. Yeah, I'd we usually go with Joshua because it makes them. more sense. But they because I'd like to get because out from under that debt God helps those who helps th who then, helps themselves. It's enough to stop ourselves from getting deeper in the hole. Okay, what the White Lakes are already here. So what's your plan, Daniel? To remove the sorrows from harm's way. I have to give credit to the White Legs for finding their way here. Though I imagine many died in the process. But they can't follow us east. Not into the Grand Staircase. They don't know how to live off the land. We head there. We can find some safety. There's no such thing as complete safety. Of course. Okay, why are you so eager to evacuate Zion? You don't seem like a pacifist, even though you clearly are. There's an old saying that goes, If you want peace, get ready for war. You've got me figured half right. I'll shoot dead any white leg that tries to creep into this camp. But it's only to protect the sorrows. The Lord helps those who help themselves. But the sorrows don't know how. Joshua and I. Since I got them into this mess, I need to get them out. Um... You should... Um, that's an awful lot of responsibility to take on, you know. The new Canaanites interfered in their lives. We did that. And we've done it before, with others. Always with good intentions, but things go wrong. When that happens, we can't just abandon them. Let them die at the hands of New Canaan's enemies. Okay. What? Um, Joshua has also come up with a reasonable alternative, in my opinion. Why not teach these sorrows um, how to defend themselves? Why not help them fight? Joshua doesn't just want to fight the White Legs. He wants to annihilate them. The stakes are too high for their tribe. Hurting them won't dissuade them. If they can't join Caesar's Legion, they'll die out in a generation. They've never learned how to survive. Food preservation, tanning, even basic hunting and cooking seem beyond them. They only survive by scavenging and raiding. That can't last. They'll only stop if Joshua and the dead horses can kill their war chief and their entire war band. That's exactly what he intends to do. Okay, um, anyway. Um, what do you know about the father in the caves as they is the sorrows called father in the oh right he's some spirit the sorrows used to believe in watched over them from the caves in the valley they marked some of the caves around here because they think they'll be punished for going inside i think as more of them learn the teachings of the new canaanites they'll lose their old superstitions oh uh, you might want to have a little chat with them they think god the father and father of the caves are the same oh Oh, of course. How stupid of me. They probably also think Mary is the mother and Jesus is the child. No wonder they picked up on things so easily. I guess it just goes to show how difficult it is to communicate sometimes. Okay, is there any other way I can help the sorrows? If you could part with it, healing powder would be welcome. We have enough stim packs for now, but we can't rely on that small supply. Brock and Xander plants can be found throughout the valley. And you might even find some on White Legs you come across. Okay. Um, what do you know of the White Legs? They're hateful savages who live only to plunder and destroy. Their leader is a devil called Salt Upon Wounds. War is all he knows. Everything he has, everything that tribe has, was taken by force, raiding, and scavenging. It's said there's no man deadlier at close range. That that power fist of his has smashed a hundred skulls. Maybe that's true, but so what? It's a low form of leadership. A tribe that knows only war has no future. And so he'll lead them to Caesar. Okay, let's... I'll talk to you more Until about then. later. Okay. Let's go take care of... Take care of... Let's go get ourselves a Yao Gwai gauntlet.
Are you the person I have to talk to for to get me, give myself a quiet outlet? Hola, outsider. Welcome, child of omens. You come to receive visions of truth? Um, what? I don't know what visions of truth means. Take drugs, kill a bear, seek medicine plants. And he said the line! <laughs> Take the route. Receive visions of truth, they guide you. I already got the um, roots you need. These roots made sacred vision tea. You drink, you see path before you. Ready? Alright, let's do this. Drink. Tea is strong. Tea is bitter. Wisdom is strong. Wisdom is bitter. You see? You go to cave. Find ghost of she. Lay ghost to rest. This your quest. Bring peace where was strife go oh great wait I want to check something oh this is not gonna be fun at all Ah, gotta love motion blur. Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> okay. That's... Even though it's... Daniel said that I was to travel with you until you have come. Sounds good. Let's go. I'm high on drugs right now. <laughs> okay, walking clouds give me quiet as the water's perk. And when she's in our party, it's much easier to be... To sink by white, white legs because their perception's decreased. <laughs> One second, I don't mind. There we go. Yeah, I gotta love auto mod. Yeah, it does it does screw with me too, Yoza. Okay. Drink. Ooh, wrong tab. Food. There we go. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept. When we remember Zion. Remember all the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. Do you know what it means? Uh, you don't want to leave Zion. You'd rather kill. You'd rather kill every last one of the white legs. Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace. But they won't. I don't enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work. And the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. Okay, this conversation got pretty dark. Happy dashing the little ones. Most people leave that part out. Happy are those who do the work of the Lord. Zion belongs to God and the people of God. It is a natural temple and monument to his glory. When our Lord entered the temple and found it polluted by money changers and beasts, did he ask them to leave? Did he cry? Did he simply walk away? No. He drove them out. It is one thing to forgive a slap across my cheek, 
but an insult to the Lord requires. No, it demands correction. Okay, fair enough, I guess. I and the dead horses are prepared to do what must be done to protect Zion from the White Lakes. And though Daniel won't accept it yet, there are many sorrows who are also prepared. They may not be warriors, but this is their home. If you have a chance to speak with Daniel about this, ask him to consider defending Zion instead of abandoning it. He has good intentions, but I fear that if we evacuate the sorrows from this place, it will be lost to them and us forever. Yeah, I agree. This place has clean water. It's real. It's really has been touched, touched by the wastes, except for that one section. Anyway, need to talk to you. Katubiu. Okay, what's your deal? Waking Cloud is my name. Okay. Um, midwife, I haven't seen any children around. The children and the old have already been evacuated from the camp. They are safe enough, unless the White Legs come for us in force. Okay, what do you do when you're not delivering babies? I tend to other hurts and sicknesses that afflict our tribe. I also scout the valley for the herbs I use in my medicines. Okay, let's talk about something else. What would you do you have any family? I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Safe? Where are they? When we learned that Salt Upon Wounds had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I try not to worry about them, but we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and a little frightened. Okay, maybe I can talk to him. He'll, he'll open up more to me. Perhaps he will. I sometimes feel he thinks he must protect me. If he has news, I would know of it. Okay, that's all I want for, to know for now. Then I will look forward to our next speech. I'll take care of that once we get back. Oh, in case you're wondering, why can't I fast travel? Wait, I can. Oh, well, that's good. The river is lovely at this time of day, don't you think? I don't know. I'm so high off the off that trick of tea that your shaman gave me. Okay, just you know, after we take care of Ghost of She, um, we're gonna take a little ad break. That way, we're not dealing with ads at the end of the stream. Just so everyone knows. Oh, hello. Okay. No, no, no. Not right now. Okay, it's relatively untouched. Yeah. I think the bullets in the head just really... Actually, the bullet in the head and having the part of my brain cut out um, by by the tribes at, um, at Point Lookout really does... Uh, D did something to him. <laughs> okay, beware. Vengeful spirit stalks this place. Let's see what we got here. If you're reading this message, then you'll do yourself a favor and turn right straight out of this canyon. For nearly 11 months, my people have engaged in a deadly ba daily battle with the evil spirit of this place, arriving Feb February of last year with a party of 108 strong. We were attacked by, pr by primitives and forced to defend ourselves. 
whereupon something began killing us in wide numbers. We have done our absolute best to find and kill this thing, thinking it was a man because it uses our firearms against us and traps and traps all kinds. But no man could could defy our efforts as this thing has as this thing has. It is more evil than any man could be. Uh, we have been reduced to just thirty four of our number. We have lost six overseers before me. We have perished from the sickness in their. They have some have perished from the sickness in their lungs. We carried. Uh, we carried out of the vaults. Out of the vault, but that number is small. Um, next to the count, count of friends that this thing has murdered. I have. I have. Now that I have finally made overseer, we are leaving straight away and will not return. If you have come to this seeing, seek, seeming, this seeming paradise, seeking the fresh water. Abundant game and shelter. You suppose uh, you suppose to you, you suppose you will find here. Do not be deceived. You will only find death here. Leave at once. Put miles between you and this place. May God have mercy on us all. J. Hendricks, Overseer, Vault 22 Expedition. Okay. If I remember correctly, they turned to cannibalism. So this this is, this is their fault for doing this. Okay. Ah. Okay, weapon. Let's just go with the forty-five sub machine. Okay, I'm going to have to rely on bats. Oh. No, you are eager to leave Zion, but perhaps you might find peace if you see. Think about it. Maxed out, or is he close to max out? Choose later. Yes. Come on. I'll fight you if I must. You leave me no choice. And we're about to face off against that against that ghost of she. Oh, this is the ghost of she's lair. I was never brave enough to try to find it. You leave me no choice. Okay. Holy cow, that bear's on fire! Okay, let's get back to back to that shaman. Wait, can we? Anyway, I'm. I think. Okay, weird. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna be hitting the hitting the you know the add button. I'll see you after the break. Oh, I'm gonna while I while the break happens, I'm gonna turn this in and we'll look around for places.
Okay, for those who are still around. Does Ghost of She like quiet in grave? Yeah, it's done. Then visions of truth are at an end. Will you learn from truth? Maybe yes, maybe no. Only for you to decide. Here, take. Gift to remind you of visions. Use well, or sell to cure your traitor. Either way, says much about you. Okay. Got ourselves a new Yao Guai gauntlet. And we'll just hook around here, get the rest of the caverns and all that fun stuff. these caves? That's my question. How did you get here? I welcome everyone back, I, and I have myself a real good question. How the hell did these guys sneak into their camp? The Sorrows camp, that is. Because this makes no freaking sense. Yeah, it makes no sense how they got there. Maybe. Oh, I think I see how. They could have snuck in. Gone up there, crossed the bridge, I'll take it that take it this route all the way up there and into that cave. Oh, it's they're peaceful. Okay. Hey Joshua, have you seen Daniel? No? In that case... I'll just use... Uh, 
There you are. I have seen many strange plants in the valley. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. Where they come from, I do not know. Okay. I'm glad to see you're still with us. Okay. Okay, tell me about Wiggy Cloud's family. Don't lie to me. Oh, come on. What, um... What do you want to know, exactly? I'm sure she could tell you much better than I. Did you help the rest of her family leave Zion? I did. Okay, what's the matter? Did something happen? Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell Waking Cloud. She is one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. Uh, it's her husband. Don't you think she has a right to know? To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her? Okay, here's here's my rebuttal. You're, you're from the new Canaanites, who are supposed to help lead these people, not hide things from them. I know, you're right. I shouldn't have hidden it from her in the first place. I just... We can't fail here again. Zion can't become the next new Canaan. The Sorrows don't deserve that. They don't deserve any of this. Sometimes I look at them and wonder if they would have been better off if those old trails had stayed forgotten. If we had never found any of them. <sighs> Tell Waking Cloud if you think that's best. I won't stop you. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Until then. Okay. Got some bad news for you, Waking Cloud. Cut to be you. About your husband, I'm afraid he was killed by. Uh, he, I'm afraid he was killed by White Legs during the evacuation. What? No. You must be mistaken. Daniel would have told me. Afraid so. Sorry, Daniel kept it from you because he thought it would grief, thought the grief would distract you. How? How dare he? What gives him the right? I thought Daniel was my friend. But he cares nothing for the sorrows. He was only doing th what he thought was best for the tribe. It wasn't an e easy choice for him. Perhaps. I will have to have a very long talk with Daniel when all of this is over. Thank you for telling me this truth. Okay. Now, how do I, oh, I have to go up there. All I can say is someone's in a wee bit of trouble. Next cave. Is there a way up that, up that way? Using this. Oh, it's just. Nope. There's more, and there's an exit here. Yeah, I mean you. I mean this place is good. Good. Oh, one second. <laughs> Sorry, I had to mute real quick to cough. To cough. Need a sip of drink. But yeah, it's stocked with plenty of game and fish. Um, it's really defendable. Why not? Um, have them defend it. Besides, the White Lakes would ruin it, and besides, this place is their home. Yeah, I'm alright, Yoza. Just a bad, 
Just a bad cough. Um, is this... Yep, that's it. Let's see what's in here. Oh, yeah. It was a case of everything just dried up. At once. Uh oh. Oh shit! Shit, 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 shit! Ow. <laughs> Let's see what we got crippled on me. Okay, it's recovering. Uh, I'll deal with this cave in a later time. Uh, here's a stim pack for ya. When salt upon wounds took Mucanan. Okay. Let's see what we're gonna have to do here. Oh, wait. He missed one cave. Uh, no, no, ow! Again, nature has no guardrails. <laughs> I think there's a simple way to fix this. Just fast travel. There, I know that's no that's cheap way to get there, but hey. But yeah, as I said earlier, the reason I think that how they got into Cap was no one was guarding right there. They all traveled up the, up here through the bridge, cr going all the way up there and you know the rest. And anything in here that's of interest. Let's move on. I don't like to linger in this. I'll fight you with I'll fight you if I must. Oh, I'm running low on, eight, on 45 ACP. And you can't exactly go that way because it's blocked. Anyway, we'll set up for the... for next time. Because we're going to need to take care of... Take care of four things here. Because we got ourselves... Yeah, that's a little bit too much, so... Actually, first things first, we're going to... I'm going to take care of the whole... Um, not the map. Not the white legs, not the traps. Um, river monsters here. Because that's that's an easy one to take care of. Go to the Yagwai cave. Have to get out of this cave first, then we can fast travel.
We pass like Biaoguai. Even our strongest hunters could not hope to kill so many. There must be a nest nearby. Okay, we better get to work then. I stand with you. Sp especially since we got that mining charges and all that fun stuff. Okay, turn on my night vision. Okay, can't exactly plant them there. So... Okay, plant one here. And I'm glad I have synthetic lungs. Next charge. <coughs> we'll plant here. I've seen many strange plants in the valley. Plants Shush. To hunger for human flesh. Shush. Where they come from, I do not. Be know. quiet. Okay, let's get the heck out of here and set them set off the Nikumpa! Oh shit. You can Nikumpa me. You leave me no Well. Joyce. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Anyone else? No? Oh, no, she's she's on the lookout for something. Oh, I see what it is. Yeah, one second. There we go. Okay. I think we could call it here. Oop. I have no idea what I threw. Yeah, I have no idea what I threw. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I think that's it for tonight. Give me one second. Let me just save. Anyway, I think you'll... F anyway. It's time, for, it's time for me to head out. I thank you all for tuning in. Um, just so you know, we're not street... Oh, yeah, um... Yeah, Yoza. Um, we can discuss up a bit later. Um, yeah. Um, just so you know, I'm not streaming tomorrow because tomorrow's my dad's birthday and I want to spend time with him. So, so I'll see you on, I'll see you on Friday, this coming Friday, everyone. Um, because it'll be Mechware Online and, and that's it really for tonight. I thank you all for tuning in. Please, stay safe out there, everyone. Bye!